Hello world, fellow YouTube lands. Right. Got my coffee. Got my comics. Let's go. Right, today I'll be reviewing uh, four issues of one entire arc of Dark Horse's comic series The Black Beetle by Francesco Van Gavilla. Right. I decided to find out who this Francesco Franco de Villa is. He, um, looking at his art style here, uh, it seems very pulpy, very uh, late 1940s, 1950s, um, rat pack, Jack Parowak, um, cool looking hats type of era. Uh, but um, no, he's um, he just started comics, uh, Martin Comics, and uh, he's, the, he's the writer and artist in, in 2006. So he's, he's relatively new, really. He just prefers doing this old style with it. It looks very, very cool, so you know, I jumped on board and look. And uh, got one more one to four, and I'm, I'm glad I did, so it's very, very good. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll go through each individual comic and I'll give my um, uh, general impressions and whatnot, as I usually do. But um, this time I won't, I won't um, do too many um, uh, spoilers, because um, I want you all out there in YouTube land to um, pick up the comics yourself, because they're, they're pretty cool. So, yeah. This is what I've got to say, and um, go out and get it for yourself. I think you'll enjoy them. Right, uh, issue number one. Uh, right, the first few um, first few notes is uh, first thing I notice immediately is the uh, the look of the black uh, of the black beetle himself. There we go. See his red eyes. This, uh, really a motif throughout the entire comic. His black eyes, which look really really cool with the um, black and blue gray, um, and backgrounds. It's mostly young, you know, set at night. There's lots of use of yellows and reds and shading as well, lots of things in shadows. See see there the uh, there's the black beetle there. That's what do you mean by the other backgrounds? Very, very cool. You know, really good art, um, artwork here. It's more the coming and then anything else to make it there. Cool, that? Pretty cool. Right, in, in issue number one. Um, they establish the story, it's um, the, the uh, Black Beauty or Monetary Mafiosa families. Um, explosions take place, uh, he needs to interview people to see what's going on. And uh, we end the arc with a really cool page there of the uh, Black Beauty on a jetpack going towards uh, an Alcatraz type island to interview the, uh, the guy in prison who appears to be hiding from somebody. At the end of the issue, we have um, a classic cliffhanger. It appears that the Black Beetle is caught by the cops, and the main bad guy, we've just been introduced, shadowy bad guy, escaping now on the speedboat. So, you know, tune in next, what's happened to the Black Beetle? Will he be okay? Will he be arrested? Will you know, that bad guy be caught? What's going to happen next? You know, classic good stuff. Right, Black Beetle number two, no way out. What's going to happen to the Black Beetle? Will he escape? Will he be arrested? I won't tell you, get the comment yourself. I'll just say that involves uh, underwater propulsion and an exploding jetpack. But it's very, very cool. There you go, see the uh, the eyes again, the red eyes. And the chest pet man pet as well, I feel like Batman is back sign. Right, in issue number two, we are um, introduced just momentarily to. Um, okay, yeah. Uh, See almost like a secret society of bad guys. You see these hooded people. It's also do something called the Hollow Lizard, an occult artifact. Uh, as something that's mentioned a few times throughout throughout the series, and it, and it continues after the series. So it's um, it's something to keep to keep you hooked to, to uh, keep the reader wanting to know um, who is this society. You know, um, a bit like um, Moriarty and Sherlock Holmes. Um, you have you have hints every now and then, but. Um, this is, is a, a bigger plot which we shall probably tie in in, in later comments. Uh, really good scenes in issue number two with rats and sewers and then poor black beetle taking these little critters off him. Very cool. And uh, we find out uh, the main bad guy's name. Here he is. Labyrintho. That name will... Um, oh, you find out what it actually means later on in issue number four. Right, so at the end of uh, issue number two, we have, uh, there's the Black Beetle, without his costume on, the hat shading his eyes, and um, going to a, uh, a nightclub to um, um, follow the clues, basically. It's more, it's, um, it's more um, 
plot, there's more meat on the, on the plot, this is the fact that issue number two. Right, uh, issue number three. Here we go, it's the cover. Pulling up the plot threads from mission number two, with the uh, Black Beetle in the club. Then we have this um, this 1940s, 1950s, almost like a, a Jack Kerouac beat generation five going on here, with um, nightclub singers and jazz, you know, all very cool. And again, the, uh, the colouring there, as you can see in my terrible camera, the shading as well. That's the Black Beetle um, in his nightclub guys, fighting some bad guys. I think you can see the colours better there. See these sort of oranges, like oranges and blacks. Yeah, it looks really cool, is not it? Really good stuff. Um, I thought that you actually saw um, Black Beetle's face in it, so I was a bit disappointed that you actually saw his real face, but then you find out a bit later that it isn't his face. He like, peels it off, but uh, you, you don't see his real face. It's really cool. Really cool. You don't want to see the, the, the face of the Black Beetle, really, do you? You, you, want, you want to be in a like, mysterious guy. It's like when you see like, a professional wrestler with, um, without the mask. The mystique is gone somewhat. So they, they've kept the mystique here by, um, by keeping in mass. And there's the uh, the secret society arc, which um, goes through the uh, um, all four issues here. Two with serpents and one not very sinister. But, uh, at the end of issue number four, um, some of the the loose ends are coming together, but we don't know exactly how they all they all fit together yet. So um, we have the black beetle there. Again, you can see his red eyes in his car. Very cool car. Racing off to the final conclusion, you've seen in number four. What we have here is the final conclusion of number four. How satisfying is it going to be? Yeah, promises on the front, the filling this labyrintho reveals. And he is. When we find out why he's called Labyrintho, who he um, really is, and it all makes sense. It all makes perfect sense. Um, <coughs> oftentimes, with these, um, these sort of detectives type things, uh, you 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 get a conclusion at the end, and you'd be almost disappointed that things don't quite make sense. It makes sense that like they'd be like forced together. But uh, yeah, it makes it makes a lot of sense here. It's um, complicated, but not too complicated, so you don't understand what's going on. And then you have this motif of um, of jigsaw pieces you now fitting together. They're putting the pieces together for the reader, so um, you, you know exactly what's happening here. And I did. <laughs> I knew exactly what was happening here. No, you refer to the uh, the, uh, the um, um, older issues as well, of course. And at the end, we have an epilogue to do with this um, this hollow lizard again. So yeah, that that theme is um, is followed through at the end, and it's um, although the um, issue of No Way Out is all, all wrapped up. We know who Labyrintho is. The um, the two war mafiosa family storylines ended. The uh, the story of the Black Beetle himself continues in the next. Uh, there we go. The Bat Beetle return this fall in Necrologue. I'm already looking forward to that. To so see what happens with these, these serpentine pipes and uh, this hollow lizard that they're after. Yeah, all very, very, very good stuff. Looks fantastic. I think that's the main thing for me, really, is that the uh, the colouring and art was so cool. Everything about this was just cool. I loved it. That's number four. So, yeah, the uh, the Black Beetle in No Way Out by Francesco Francavilla, number one to four. Put it out in trade paperback in the next couple of, of months, maybe, if you, if you can't get these individual copies. But yeah, definitely check it out. It's very, very, very good, very entertaining, and just, just a lot of fun, really. And that's what you want from a comic, isn't it? You just want to have a bit of fun, really. And yeah, really good. Thumbs up for me. That's my thumb. Cheers. See you later.